that's so impressive. Someone has his garage underneath of this huge rock and on top there's a little garden where someone just lives and I think there's even a pool. Hey guys, welcome to our last full day on our little German tour. I'm right standing in front of a castle, of a fortress. As you are able to see, it's impossible to get up there. This is so highly secured by the rocks. And it just, it just looks so amazing. If you think about when this all was built right into the rock, I just can't wait to get up there and explore the area. Vanessa was the one that found this place online. She's my well, tour guide, my private tour guide. I guess all tourists know this place. Yeah, yeah. There, there are a bunch of groups around here, but yeah, let's just try and get up there. So this fortress right here is really old, middle age. It started 1200 and was then, I think, burned down. It was first wood, then stone and over the centuries. That's pretty much what is left of it. Really impressive. And if you think about that people used to live in these kind of places, it's crazy. This little room right here was the prison. This doorway we just used wasn't there back then. The people were dropped from up there, in here. Not really the nicest place, and I don't want to imagine how many people they threw up in here. And of course, the usual... I wouldn't fit in there. Never, ever. Maybe in this one. This one could actually, maybe, fit. Looks really, really scary, to be honest. Weapons, tools, traps to catch mice, books, cheeses, drums, a painting, more tools more traps, traps for bears. This right here with the spikes was used for dogs to train them to go and hunt. And these tools were used for public death penalties. The last one was in 1795. So yeah, just 200 years ago, there were people publicly still killed here on this ground. I'm really impressed how big this actually is. I mean, here is a building, there is a building with a tower on the other side of five more buildings, two more towers. Then there is another floor down below and there is also an entire garden. So not as tiny as it looked like from down below. We made it to our next stop. For this stop, we have to go really, really high up there. So what are we doing up here? The elevator is historic. That's a... So the attraction is the elevator. Yeah. But there is a... What is it called in English? Looks? Looks? I don't know if you can hear that take make sound, but that's the electric fence keeping us really safe. But he actually looks cute, or? Meets a katze. But really sorry for this guy, I mean, it's not really big. At least he got a nice view. Yeah, I'm really feeling sorry. I mean, it's so unnecessary to just capture one here for tourists. I, I don't know. Okay, made it all the way back down. It wasn't actually that part now into the city center maybe a little bit of shopping coffee and cake exploring the old city center of what was the name again Bachando. Right behind me is again the river and you might be able to see the sign 
it shows how high the water was, um, what is it, 1845. And on the other side are more recent marks from 2013 and 2002. Like the, the waterfront, there is nothing in between that might stop the water. It's just like straight right into the water. Unfortunately, it started raining, so next up, a quite early dinner. It already smells really, really good. Hello. Wow, I've never felt so weird. We entered and everyone was looking at us. And it's not talking, actually. Yeah, yeah, horrible, horrible. I don't know why. Is it me not yeah, looking that German? It's you. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe they all know each other and we're like. I don't know. I really would love to ask them what it was. <laughs> so weird, so uncomfortable. Let's try and find an alternative. Yeah. Where on earth do you find that many parking spots on, uh, what is it, Saturday, Sunday evening? It's not really our taste. We have one more option, right? Yeah. And that's then pretty much it. Again, no parking spot problems. That's at least a plus. <sighs> no way, no way, no way. Uh -huh. Uh, I think there's just one option left. We have to make our own dinner. If supermarkets are still open. I don't know, it's 8... No, it's 7.20. Uh, <laughs> that is option number, I don't know, but probably the last one. I'm getting hungry. At least the view is good. So bad. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're leaving. I don't know, maybe we're just picky. No, 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 we're, no, no, no. We're actually not picky, I mean, we eat dinner for like 350. That's not the thing, it's not we're picky, they're just... I don't know, it feels like eating... I have an idea, we yeah. just eat. <laughs> Do we have any left? Yes, you want them? Yeah. So, that was our dinner. Hmm. Mm hmm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs>